Jesu Christian School. Today, 1st April 2022, the school is having careers day. Join me as I interact with some of the pupils right here at Wesley Christian School concerning their choice career. Let's find out from them what careers day means and why it is so important. Stay with me. I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing great. So, I like your outfit. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to become an electrical engineer. Oh, that's wonderful. So, I would like to know your name, please. My name is Elizabeth Mayanda. Okay, Elizabeth Mayanda. Where do you live? I stay in Kimasala. Okay. So, what inspires you to be an engineer? Uh, mostly it's my dad, since he's also an engineer. So, he inspires me. Okay, so do you know what it takes to be an engineer? Yes. What does it take? It takes one to be creative, smart. The person has to be smart when that person is dressing. Has to wear the proper attire. Okay. So you mean about safety? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. So you want because there are many types of engineering. Which type of engineering? Fixing cars or what? As I said before, I want to become an electrical engineer. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you for your time. How are you doing? I'm good and how are you? I'm fine. I like your outfit. Thank you very much. Where did you get it from? I just got it from my dad. Okay, that's wonderful. So I would like to hear your name, please. My name is Martha Kapuma. Okay, that's great. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to become a surgeon. Oh, that's wonderful. So why and why do you want to become a surgeon? I want to save other people's lives because you know people out there are suffering so I'd like to save their lives. Okay, what about those people who can't afford uh, medical treatment? How can you help them? It depends with the type of medical disorder that they're suffering from so that's when you act. Okay, that's great. So do you know what it takes to be what you want to be? Yes, I do. Hard work. Yes. I'm studying a lot. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing this morning? Fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm fine. So you look beautiful. I like your makeup. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, that's wonderful. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, when I grow up, I want to be a surgeon doctor. Oh, that's wonderful. I would like to know your name. Oh, I'm Tracy Kumwenda. Tracy who? Kumwenda. Kumwenda? Yes. Tracy Kumwenda. Okay, that's wonderful. So, why do you want to be a doctor? Oh, uh, I really want to help people. I want to help the sick and help them get better. Okay, that's wonderful. So, you are inspired by who? Uh, I'm inspired by my aunt. Okay. Yeah. She's a, doctor. Oh. She's a what? She's a surgeon doctor as well. Oh, that's uh, wonderful. So where do you live? Uh, I live here around stadium area. Okay, that's wonderful. So, I really like the way you've dressed up. Thank you. Yeah, the way you did your hair, your makeup, that's so wonderful. Oh, thank you. And continue the same spirit of being your art. And what you've told me has really encouraged me as well. So, that's wonderful. Keep up your good work. So, do you know what it takes to be a surgeon doctor? Yeah, I know. What does it take? Uh, it takes a lot of hard work. Okay. Yeah, and study and interaction with many different types of people. So, if you want to be a surgeon doctor, how many subjects or what subjects should you be good at? Uh, you need to be good in math. Okay. And you need to be good in sciences, of course. And okay. you also have to be good in English because we don't know where we go. Like here in Sabozi, we usually use Kaonde, right? But yeah. if you don't know Kaonde, you can use English at least, yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, thank you for your time. May God bless you. Thank you. The program is still going on here at Wesley Christian School. I am still interacting with a lot of pupils right here, so stay with me. As you can see, the crowd of future defense who are coming, who are going to defend Zambia in future. It's on, guys. This is beautiful.
would like to know your name, the grade that you are doing, and your age. My name is Amokoti Diaraman. I'm in grade 10 and I'm 13. So what do you want to be when you grow up? A surgeon. Okay, so why do you want to be a surgeon? Because I want to help people save lives. Who inspires you to be? I'm just inspired by a lot of different people. Do you know what it takes for somebody to become a surgeon doctor? Yes, I need to focus on my studies. Thank you for your time. And uh, any encouragement you can give to other people to become surgeon doctors? I would like for people to work hard and always be kind to other people. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm fine. I would like to know your name and uh, where you come from. Um, my name is Oelanji Nambeye and I stay within stadium. Okay, so what grade are you doing and the age? Uh, I'm in grade 7 and I'm 11 years old. Okay, so I'd like to know what you want to be when you grow up. I'd like to be a journalist. Oh, that's incredible because I also want to be a journalist. Actually, that's what I'm even doing right now. I want to be a journalist. And I also want to be a musician because that's kind of like my talent. So that's incredible to finally meet someone who is a journalist. So who inspires you? What inspires you to be a journalist? Um, my inspiration was my great aunt. She, she was also a journalist before she passed away. Oh, that's bad, but it's incredible that somebody inspired you to be a journalist. So, what would you like to talk about when you grow up and become who you want to be? Um, I'd like to talk about, uh, for example, I'd like to talk about diseases so I can help people be aware of uh, the current diseases that would be happening at that time to help them know the precautions and the preventions. Okay, that's incredible. So, I'm sure, okay. Let me ask this question. Do you get any support from your parents that you want to be a journalist? Yes, I get support from my parents, my cousin, my brother, my sister, and other family members, sometimes even my friends. Okay, that's incredible. So, do you know what it takes to be a journalist? Uh, yes, sort of. A journalist must always tell the truth. A journalist must always um, be there to watch this, help people, knowing what this is the current events, stuff like that. Okay, that's incredible. Thank you for your time. Um, may God bless you and uh, have a nice day. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm okay. Okay, that's wonderful. I would like to know your name, your age, and the grade that you are doing. Okay, my name is Michael Banda. I'm in grade 10. And I'm 16 years old. Okay, that's incredible. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yes, I'm planning to be a lawyer. Okay, that's wonderful. So, why do you want to be a lawyer? I find my calling to bring justice to the world, to the communities. Okay, that's incredible. So, do you know what it takes for somebody to be a lawyer? Yes, it takes smartness, intelligence, and you have to know the rules of the law. Okay, that's incredible. So, I'm sure for you to be a lawyer, you need to be good in some of the subjects. So, which subjects? Yeah, definitely English, because your points have to come out clearly. Okay. And also civic education, social studies. That's incredible. Thank you for your time. May God bless you. Okay, yes, may God bless you too. How are you, sir? Very fine. How are you? I'm doing good. So, I'd like to know your name and... Uh, I would like to know your name. Okay, I'm Teacher Jacob Chimbangala. Okay, are you one of the teachers at this school? Yes, I'm a teacher at Wezi. I teach grade 3. Okay, so I would like to know what you think about today's careers day. Okay, today's careers day, we planned it to be in this manner because that's what inspires the kids or the learners in schools to try to showcase what they want to become after they complete their education. Okay, so why is Careers Day important? Careers Day is more important because that's what opens up uh, the kids' mind to know and to find out who they should be. Because when they see different careers from other different departments, they would want to find out exactly, definitely they should find something that they are supposed to do later on after their studies. Okay, but uh, what about those people who haven't yet discovered their careers? So those will be helped when they look at the other people in different careers, they are supposed to find out and then get inspired to one thing that they want to do at the later on. 
Okay, thank you. So, any encouragement uh, to the people who want to be teachers? Okay, for those that want to be teachers, I would advise them and encourage them to join that kind of a career. Because to be a teacher, you are going to be one who is going to be the father and the mother for all the careers. For us to have the doctors, the nurses, uh, people from all the other careers, we must have a teacher first. Talking about us seeing pupils today showcasing their careers because of the teachers who really help them. And you, if you'd want to be that person who is there to help one another, you need to love to be a teacher. Okay, thank you for your time. May God bless you. Thank you and may God bless you as well. As you can see behind me, uh, our future defense who are going to defend Zambia in future when it is in need. Let's hear their presentation and what they are going to do.